it's probably not a ni- very nice truth, but if you want a, an item of interest to stay in the news cycle for some time, if you introduce sex, well, it's going to stay there. As an example of that, let's have a look at the wonders of yesterday's carrying on with Nigel Farage and the upshot. At the time, all we knew is that someone had hit him with a McDonald's banana milkshake and we got the predictable and highly witty news headlines going, he's not loving it. We're at its finest. Let's get rid of that. The Mail Online appears to be churning up that recently for some reason. It's throwing up false positives for viruses. Um, Model 25 arrested for throwing a drink over Nigel Farage shamelessly uses a sudden notoriety to encourage people to her own fans page. Get her into politics. <laughs> right now, she's just showed she understands the, the basic ro- ro- rules of politics. Gin up support. Make yourself visible. That's the ba- one of the very basic rules of politics, isn't it? The model who was arrested for throwing a drink over Nigel Farage is using the exposure to encourage people to visit her OnlyFans page. Well, if she's using it to generate modern money, well, obviously. Uh, I mean, I don't particularly love OnlyFans, don't get me wrong. I think it's got its um, pluses, minuses, and I'm not particularly over keen on the fact that a load of young women seem to have embraced it as almost a career choice. I think that's going to pay poor dividends in a few years when we have a load of young women who haven't trained as anything or done anything else of their lives except be on there. I think it's creating a very dubious climate in the society, but you could say the same about politicians. Many of them have just stood and talked for years. Many people have compared politicians as well. I'll let's be frank about it, whores, and said that at least whores are more honest than politicians, as you're paying for, you know what you're paying for, and you normally get what you pay for. Whereas with politicians, you you don't get what you pay for normally. And let's here we have Victoria Thomas doing a riff on the old Kelly song, Milk, Milkshake, Damn Right, It's Better Than Yours. Now, of course, let's be frank, I doubt Victoria looks that stunning in real life. She seems like a quite pretty, attractive young girl, but... OnlyFans and all those sites are, well, a lot of them are marketed towards a young men who have got scant experience of ever seeing a real woman unclothed or haven't been married or or have little experience with real women. And a lot of it is done in this posed way with backdrops and everything airbrushed to, so that people are absolutely perfect. I'm sure Victoria is a nice enough looking girl. And I'm not, I'm no oil painting by any means. I wouldn't pretend to be. I'm a rough, tough, stubbly, middle aged bloke who's getting a bit too chubby and out of condition. But I'm sure Victoria in the morning with her hair scraggy before her makeup looks just as human as the rest of us. But that picture is great because it's part of the narrative of this whole story now. And it will be going around the news cycle for a bit longer with Victoria sort of standing in her you know, little socks there. For some reason, I find socks with that, done that way it look really stupid with knickers and bra, but that's just me. It doesn't look erotic. It just looks like someone forgot to take their socks off. Um, uh, there's the arc, arc of the banana, as I shall call that, the, the crescent banana, the lunar banana flying out. And here's Victoria again. Come on, this is that's obviously pose, and there's enough filters going on there for... To forever, basically. Everything's been filtered, tidied up, perfected, and so on. It's plain that that, with that, that is the case. No problem with it. If Victoria is going to choose to make money this way, I don't call she's not some sort of career criminal, but I would say she could probably do think better things with her life at this point. Or if we are going to legitimize sex work, I think we could do it and just call it sex work. Stop using euphemisms like model. Let's call it sex work. And and cut out the kind of strange prudishness around it. It's not going to go away. And if Victoria chooses to to do it that way, let's make it a career that women could do if that's what they really want to do. But let's make it a career with health checks and so on. 
I still think it's not the ideal career, but there you go. I still think we could offer young women lots of better futures. But if we, if we are going to deal with the fact that it's never going to go away, well, that's one route. Apparently, Victoria's fallen out with her family, and there's a bit up here um, I'm trying to find, or it's a bit further down. I'm using the Daily Mail. I can't believe I'd ever be using them. They're, they're not exactly what I'd call the most stunning pa paper. To me, that's a far more attractive shot, by the way. It looks like a, a far more decent shot. Just before I go, and yes, you wonder how the kitchen uh, semi-naked do to, to knock out a coffee, Victoria. My missus often does that when she's doing a bit of toast. She knew she never complains about you know the resulting butter burns on her a tummy or a bit of oil frying flying off the fried eggs. Never happens. Um, here we go. Thomas Bowne is a Jeremy Corbyn supporting only fans model. What is there some correlation to causation between the two? Do they ask you to sign up to be um a Jeremy Corbyn supporter if you're a young woman doing this? I doubt it. She hails from a family of Brexiteers, what the, the decent folk, the decent yoke folk, the Brexiteers. Speaking from his home in near, nearby Jaywick, her Brexit voting brother Paul okay, told Mail Online, I've just seen it. To be honest, I'm appalled. I don't know where she is. I don't want anything to do with her. What? Because she threw a banana milkshake on someone. She's still your sister, mate. It's a bit of a silly thing to do and a bit childish and immature, but... It's not up there with the great crimes of humanity or anything. Despite posting a video on X with the caption, um, my milkshake brings all the people to the rally, in reference to the 2003 song milkshake. Oh, God, I have images of Nigel Farage doing a cover of it. I'm, I won't sleep tonight after that. Um, it was quite frightening. Well, yeah, to be fair to Nigel, much as I find Nigel a little bit annoying, having a sudden wave of liquid thrown into your face is not funny, considering the what it might have been, which is what the young lady should have considered and how it might be perceived. Might not be too funny if you were standing there thinking that's a slosh of battery acid up your face or something. Um, that's the perception you may have if you're standing there. The less incident has led to wide condemnation from MCs all across the political spectrum. I wonder if any of them take it to OnlyFans. You could imagine, say, I don't know, let's see, um, Labour's Yvette Cooper, who called it a disgrace and completely and un several wrong. Maybe Nigel Farage could do an OnlyFans channel with those spectacular ties of his. I know he always wears crappy ties in the most florid patterns. He could slowly take them off for women of a certain age and make their dreams come true. But Thomas Aaron, who films her X-rated video clips, well, there's not much point in doing them for OnlyFans if they're not, is it? Oh, Never watch the damn thing and never have any interest. I consider it grotty, but it's kind of like self-evident they're going to be X-rated. It'll be like saying the X-rated porn site in the spare bedroom of her mother's 260,000-pound house in Grace told the BBC uh, banana milkshake because she just felt like it. Well, it's, and because it's also a good way to drum up, of course, interest, because now everyone's, including me, of course, sitting here, is going to be talking about it for the next few days until we'll see a massive surge in her earnings probably for a few days from it. I don't know if will people be able to do you think asking for a special request to tip a banana milkshake over herself or, or dip her fingers in one or some silliness like that? Wouldn't be surprised. He doesn't stand for me, the, the self-described petite blonde pocket rocket. Oh, my Lord. I hope um, Thomas Bowen doesn't decide to go to pursue a literary career with that turn of phrase. He doesn't represent anything I believe in or any other people around here. He doesn't represent us. He's not from here. Well, obviously, he does represent some people. I don't agree with Farage. He, my politics are very, very different from him, but he has a place on the political stage and the political theatre that is modern British politics. He's not part of the theatre that I want to watch too much, except to just know what he's about. And he's not an actor on that stage that I particularly appreciate, but he's got a reason to be there in so much as we have to allow him the scope of saying what he wants, so we can't really call it a, dem a democracy. She has since supposed to support for her actions on her social media, so that, who said they could not be more proud of her. What? 
proud of what? Throwing a banana milkshake about? <sighs> uh, well, that's, uh, you know, uh, saying boo to the man there. That's, that's Big Brother knocked down via a Mac, Mackie D's and banana milkshake. Oh, wow. Revolutionary Marxism. It's fine as that. Uh, it's, uh, she then posted a, a, self, a photo of herself dressed only in her underwear and sports socks. That photo went further. Thomas Barron previously voiced her support for Jeremy Corbyn on Facebook. Well, so what? So do many people from many sorts of backgrounds. And call for Britons to boycott the late Queen's tube and Diamond Julie. Again, there'd be many reasons people might do that. People from all sorts of political backgrounds might do that. Last November, the Noddle flew out to Istanbul for a nose job. Um, I can guarantee this is going to be popping up for a few weeks and give Nigel sort of a sort of unexpected kind of wave of visibility. I particularly like that picture with Nigel looking like he's um ha had like a, a tub of margarine, milk margarine or something exploded in his face. So, or the milk bottle he, bought, he got from the, the off-license went off a bit and attacked him. The AIDS played down the impact, saying the milkshake barely stayed Mr. Farage's suit. I doubt that. Milkshake is one of the is a pretty horrible thing to get out of anything if you spilled it on things. Let's see what the upshot of it is. I don't support any move to give this young lady some massive sentence. It's a bit of a silly prank. Some community service and a fine is enough, I would think. I. Uh, that's, that will be enough, unless she starts doing this on a regular basis, although maybe perhaps it will be a good way to kind of take away some of the hubris of our politicians. Once a week, they were sort of um, forced to do a debate where members of the public could stand in Parliament with um, a hose full of milkshake, and, and the side they felt was talking the most absolute tosh could be sprayed down with strawberry milkshake, so on. And if you are really bad, they could be sprayed down. I don't know. Someone could reinstitute root beer or something, which is not sold in McDonald's in the UK anymore. Spray them down with that. It'd be a fascinating way of controlling the nonsense in Parliament.